guys my name is Rondo Lynch and today you are going to get an official tour of our aquaponics system alrighty so today you are going to get an exclusive tour of our aquaponics system here at Waterponics. I'm, I'm trying to be quick because I don't want to make the video too long. So let's start over here. This is a pump house. This is where we house the water, the air pump, sorry. And over here is next to that is the fish tank. So basically how this fish tank works is that the fish sorry <laughs> The water flows into the system through the spray bar and that's just another way of creating oxygen for the fish, oxygenating the water and it leads through this overflow pipe. Now this is a solid lifting overflow. I don't know if, don't know if you can see well, it goes right to way down to the elbow there and you see some of the fish there and it follows straight down to almost in the middle of the whole tank and it has we throw notches or holes in it and it basically the action of it overflowing stops the solids from the bottom of the tank straight up. So that's how we remove the solids of the fish tank. So moving on, the water flows out of the fish tank into this and this is the swirl filter. So it flows from there into the swirl filter here and basically it comes out through this elbow here and it creates a swirling action against the walls of the circular drum the cylindrical sorry, drum and that keeps all the solids as you can see trapped to the side and down to the bottom and out of this fish tank and out of the system then it's skimmed off from this pipe and it goes into the biofilter I'm going to go around and show you the biofilter so, this is the biofilter. Alright. So, inside the biofilter, we have these open cell media, and these basically create a place for the bacteria to grow. And we also have these, and these do the same thing. And basically, the, the purpose of a biofilter is to create a place for the bacteria to grow in a aquaponic system and the bacteria will be out as a filter because the bacteria are the ones that actually convert uh, fish waste into something that the plants can use so at least the, the swirl filter comes through here where we have some scoring pads just to add, to add as a, a another measure of mechanical filtration another means to mechanical filtration and then into here where all the open cell media are so moving on so moving on to grow bed number one so in grow bed number one this is really our uh, starting bed this is where we start mainly lettuce uh, after they spend some time as seedlings. When we first transfer them into the system, this is where they go, grow bed number one. Uh, however, at this point in time, I have them packed a little closely, packed tightly together, growing tightly together just to see how, would they, how they would do trying it out. Usually, they're a lot more separated like this. Actually, what will happen is that after they leave here, this grow bed number one, they go here into grow bed number two. At uh, which point I can spread them out a lot more. Okay, so this is grow bed number two. Um, and these ones, this one here is covered in some shade cloth. Because it's a bit hot, so you just want to give these ones some shade, they're a little smaller a tad smaller than these ones and they're showing some signs of the exhaustion so after that we have grow bed number three 
We're running in tree house, cinema basil, and killing it. The cinema basil takes over everything. And I think they're about, I have about nine plants in here all together. And they're doing well, probably too well. <laughs> I'll explain to you a little later in the video what I mean by too well. But let me, let me let you, let me show you now. Let me show you now. So let's go around here. I'm going to, I'm going to try to be easy. And I want you to focus right there on that plant. I don't know if his sheep is in there, sorry. But she is, she's going to play out. Nope, she's not in there. You probably left already. So this is a bird's nest. Yep, that's right, a bird's nest inside of my cinnamon basil bush plant shrub. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, that's not the first time you've seen that. Me being the environmentalist that I am, uh, and the animal lover, I'm not going to interfere with it. And yeah, let's see how that goes. So over here we have a tomato plant. It has some tomatoes on it right now. Over here we have a coriander that is starting to flower. So this is what the leaves will normally look like, similar to this in the supermarket. Very similar looking to parsley. And I can't remember if I showed you that key right there. That's the key. So moving on. This is the sump tank. And I'll show you that last. So here is grow bed number four. And this one has a keel in it. And this one is also covered in sheer cloth. Just because I'm trying to find out if these this particular type of keel likes a little more shade or if it likes to be like in grow bed number five where we have no shade at all and to be honest I don't see any differences yet the plants are floating on water see so it's just floating on water and the roots just go down inside through these neck cup so this is one of the plants here and those are the roots put that back in there so here is the sump tank. So there is a shot of the system going up there. And here is the sump tank. And this is where everything drains back into the system. So this is the outlet for grow bed number 3. Outlet for grow bed number 2. And outlet for grow bed number 1. And down in the back there are the outlets for grow bed number Four and number five. So here's the sump tank. This is where all the action starts. And does it start at the fish tank? Uh, because of this, the type of system it is, you have to have a sump tank. That's where it is, is the lowest point in the system. And this is because this is where the pumps are located and they pump the water straight up. And that feeds the, the beds and the fish tank. And this one goes straight on that feeds go red number one and number two. So all the water enters, all the water that leaves the sump tank comes right back in. So this is how we are able to reuse the same water over and over and over again. So this is the water coming back in from go red number three to one. And like I said, over there is from 4 and 5. And there, there, there's one pump down there. And there's another one just feeding the grow beds from 4 and 5. We have one pump in that and a larger pump is feeding all the other two grow beds. So what we have here is a bucket filled with uh, marl or quarter mix as we call it here in Barbados. It's basically limestone rock uh, which is calcium carbonate 
And I will not tell you the reason why that's in there as yet because I'm going to discuss that clearly in the upcoming video. But for right now, that's it. This is the water phonics at phonics system. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, let's grow together.